we're going on YouTube is Silos with the new beginning with the, with the new video. So here we go. What's going on YouTube? Um, about three months ago, I made this same video that I'm about to remake, but when I was editing it and stuff, my hard drive was acting funny. Um, I was getting the, I don't know, the wheel that spins on, on my, so I ordered a, a new hard drive and that came in and then when I went to uh, make a backup, uh, a new backup, um, just completely died so everything that I had for about a week or whatever um, pretty much is gone so I had to remake this video so pretty much um, it took a while for me to get my Hydra I mean my laptop back up just because I might have time to work on it but and then I had no idea I lost this footage, so I was trying to see if I could get it back. So, anyways, but the purpose of this video, um, as you can see in the title, is called No More iPhone. So, what I mean is, I pretty much I needed a new phone, so I was going back and forth if I should just get the new iPhone or I should get something different so I ended up deciding to get the Google Pixel 3 and everyone said why um, I just figured you know I would try it and you know everyone's afraid of change so I just decided to just pretty much just go for it you know and I will say um, at first I hated it uh, for the simple reason that it was a little bit hard to um, to to operate with because you're so used to the iPhone being easy and stuff like that and everything it's user friendly and stuff like that so what happened was um, uh, if anybody has ever gone through a Android um, everything's different so finding apps was frustrating and all that business so what I ended up doing was I got pretty ticked off so basically I just kind of rooted it and made a layout um, I don't know if it's gonna focus, look like it's an iPhone so basically it's an Android but just the layout of the apps and stuff, it's like if it was an iPhone. But it's still an Android. But I don't know, just to me, just swiping down and then all your apps like weren't there. And I don't know, I just, let me see if I could, um, I'll be back a second. So I'm gonna try to see, I mean, Try to reroute it back how um, factory settings so I could pretty much get my point across. All right, we're back. So as you can tell, this is this is what it looks like. So you know, scrolling up on on it um, like that, you know, trying to find the apps. I hated that, so I ended up. Um, doing this little mod that I'll revert back so you guys can see it. Yeah. So now I did that back again so now it's like if you can tell it's like if it's an iPhone. So you know I did that and then pretty much I'm happy with it you know there's a little things that are a little bit different um, but just the fact that I just did that, you know, pretty much 
took care and I don't really miss my iPhone whatsoever um, <sighs> there are some drawbacks um, so when you do send video to somebody that has an iPhone um, it's pixelated and stuff like that but there are ways around it um, you could download some sort of an app that basically pretty much lets you send um, iMessages so you don't lose any of the you don't lose any of the what you call the the video quality and stuff like that so and then and then your when you send text messages they appear as they're green instead of blue or whichever I don't really remember what it is but um, the, the camera is awesome um, I'm very happy that that's basically the main reason why I got this phone um, I don't I haven't got any crashes or anything like that um, it's very light um, it, I do like how bigger the camera I mean the the space or the screen is because before I used, I went from a iPhone SE to this big huge phone um, I don't know uh, I don't have my SE on me but basically it's pretty much like an iPhone 5 but I just needed a new phone uh, um, last time what I had ended up doing to my phone was I ended up replacing the battery and then the charge controller and then as soon as I did that one of my speakers went out so after that I was able to, you know I could just pretty much keep on placing parts and stuff like that and I just figured that it was a uh, and then I'm, I had that phone for like two years I never broke in the screen and then I broke the screen it's actually the first screen I ever break on an iPhone so I ended up doing that and bought a replacement replaced it and I pretty much just sealed the deal and then I just went and I picked up this guy and ever since had it for three months at the first two weeks I struggled like the whole Android thing I just couldn't freaking get my mind around it so I'm like so I just went online um, found that there was an uh, app that you could download that basically just made your Android look uh, um, function just like an iPhone through the apps that it just basically made it easy to find everything so I I did that and it's been smooth selling ever since um, the good about it is you can pretty much customize it however you want which is one of the main uh, things that I also went towards this particular phone because I always jailbroke my iPhones so and it was just a pain in the ass because um, basically you gotta wait for the next jailbreak and then that could be like certain versions and then you pretty much if you do upgrade then you find out that you can um, jailbreak the next one because you already went above it and you can revert back and it's just a mess so it's just way easier how it is now um, that it just made sense so um, and then also too you could download um, apps that are not trusted and stuff like that so I don't know it just to me it seems that it seemed to make sense so I just pretty much did it um, so I'm just pretty much 
making my what I my experience uh, most people say ah oh, it's crap or blah 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 you know what I mean so I used to I still like the iPhones um, I probably will get another one my next one will probably be an iPhone again at least that's what I say now um, but I don't know I might just continue with the Android um, I had it for three months um, and you know, it's, I loved it you know, I'm pretty much happy with it um, just with that little mod before that I was pretty much unhappy I was ready to just return it and then gave it a shot and then just pretty much worked um, now I since I revert it back um, pretty much I have to reassemble all my apps and like get them back to how I had them before but that's nothing um, but I don't know, I'm just we're thinking of switching. Um, I think you should just, you know, give it a try. You know, um, everyone's afraid to change, so I just pretty much decided to pretty much do it, and you know, it's it's worked out for me. So hopefully, you guys like this video. If you don't. You know just comment down below but you know that's just my point on it I just pretty much wanted to make that because I seen tons of video where people just spend one week and they're like well they can't wait to get their old phone back or their iPhone and then um, I, I was pretty much on that same boat but since I did that little modification it just pretty much was good after that so if you're thinking of switching do the same thing um, it's just pretty much it's uh what is this thing called um, sorry about that it's just called iOS um, launcher and and it just pretty much makes your um, every time you turn on your phone or Launch your phone when you unlock it, it just pretty much makes your home page look like an iPhone. So hopefully you guys like this video and if you don't then just comment down below, subscribe, comment, you know. Um, and then um, I will continue to make new videos so sorry it took so long, you know, as I first explained on the video, um, that's what happened so fortunately you know, I couldn't do that plus I'm not really making any money um, doing these videos so and it isn't about that but I just like making videos so hopefully um, you know I will get back on the same trend making new ones so I already made this longer than I should have so peace